Welcome to the SIA Engineer video tutorial about the Engineer Report. In this video, we give a brief overview about the functionalities of the Engineer Report. The Engineer Report is a tool to create reports easily and efficiently. All data, result tables, and drawings can be used. Even external pictures and text files can be added. To open an Engineer Report, you can click on the icon in the main menu or in the toolbar. An empty report will open. Next, you can double-click on a specific item to add content in the report. First, I choose the header footer item. It is added immediately in the navigator and preview will visualize it. Next, I add a table of contents and a page break. The next item will now start on the next page. Now I can insert a chapter. I will call it for example Genoa. In this chapter, I add the used materials and the cross sections. I can indent these tables so the numbering will be automatically adapted as it is a part of this chapter. As you can see, behind items there are two icons available, an eye and a lock. You can hide items by pressing on the eye icon but the data are still present in the report. The items can be locked by clicking on the lock icon. It means that if they are locked, they are excluded from the regeneration. To regenerate the report, you have two choices. You can regenerate all outdated items, or you can only regenerate some selected items. Next, I also want to add a picture to the engineer report. I go back to see engineer and with a right mouse click, I can choose to send a picture to the engineer report. I choose the live picture because it will take into account the changes I would make in the model. Then there opens a window where you can choose the properties of this picture. It is possible to choose from predefined sizes and you can also save the changes you have made so they can be used again easily in another picture. Finally, I can send this picture directly to the report and close this window. When I go back to the report, the picture is added at the bottom of the list. I want to see my model in the beginning of the chapter, so I change the position of this picture. After the picture is inserted, it is possible to modify it. You can modify the properties, the viewpoint or the view parameters. Furthermore, you can copy items easily with the copy-paste function Ctrl-C plus Ctrl-V. In the second picture, I select the property Export to PDF as 3D. In this case, the picture will behave as a 3D model in a PDF file. Next, I insert a page break. Our next chapter is for example Geometry. I insert some items like nodes, members, 2D members. Tables can also be edited just like pictures. When I select a table, I can click Edit and then I can choose which values will be displayed or not. I can also sort columns or change the width of columns or the names and alignment in the header of columns. I click OK to confirm my changes. Also special items can be adapted, like for example the header footer. I select the item and click Edit. Here I can make changes for all the properties which are shown in the header and footer. I can choose which kinds of items are shown in the header or footer, their font and their position. Clicking OK will close this window. Next I insert again a page break. The next chapter will be called Loads. And I add a table of load cases. Now I want to see the pictures of the different loads on the model. I open C Engineer and show the loads on the model. I will send this picture to the Engineer report with the previous settings I had saved. It is not necessary to add as a user all the different pictures of the defined loads. The Engineer report can do an automatic generation of chapters. It is necessary to indent the picture under the table of the load cases. Next, I regenerate the table 
and the pictures are generated automatically. To make the report more clear, I add a page break, so each load case is shown on a different page. Also, I do not want to show the caption of each picture, so I deselect this property. After regeneration, you will see a nice result. Keep in mind that the automatic generation of chapters works for tables, as well as non-result as result tables and pictures, as long as there is a logic link between the tables and the pictures. The last chapter includes the results. I could insert different kind of result tables, but in this case, I choose to insert a predefined template. SIA has made already some report templates to simplify the creation of reports. As a user, it is possible to create your own templates and use them in all your models. You just have to assemble a report and save it as a template. Then you can open this template in another project and regenerate it. Next, I insert a combination key to show the content of the combinations which give the most extreme results of the inserted result tables. Finally, I insert the steel check. We can change the properties in the same way as we do in C Engineer. I can change the type of load case and see the detailed results for a certain selection, for example B20. Until now, we have only inserted tables which were available in C Engineer. It is also possible to insert tables of pictures from other programs. For example, when you have some calculation sheet in Excel, you can insert a snapshot by copy-pasting it into the report. Furthermore, it is possible to change the style in the report. This can be done by inserting the item style and to edit this item. In this window, it is possible to change the fonts and colors for each kind of text and table. As it works the same for all special items, the properties will be taken into account starting from the page the item is inserted. So, if you want to have the same style for the whole report, you have to put this item on top in the list of items. Finally, when the report is finished, you can export it to a certain format. I will export it to a PDF file. In the PDF file, you can see the 3D picture we have inserted. You can easily zoom and rotate it like a 3D model. Afterwards, if you would apply some changes in the model, for example deleting some members, these changes are also taken into account in the engineer report after regeneration. Because I have changed the structure, it is necessary to recalculate the project. Next, I open the report and regenerate it. As you can see, the report has taken into account the changes in the model. Thank you for viewing this video about the engineering report. Corresponding documentation can be found in our online help, which can be opened by pressing F1, or you can take a look at the manuals on our website.